This is what springtime looks like in the northern Rocky Mountains. What's now, what is this? As I drive, a road killed animal catches my eye. I'm curious, so I stop to investigate. If it's what I think it is, it's a creature that's not only rare in these northern Rockies, but throughout the country. The orphaned baby fishers will starve unless I find them. Maybe their mother's final tracks will lead me back to the den. Having read a little about fishers, I know that the babies will surely be inside a hollow tree or log, so I bring along a hatchet. the backtracking is easy. But I don't have much time. The tracks will become harder and harder to follow in this heavy, wet spring snow. After a couple of hours, I've almost lost the trail. Where would a mother fisher make her den? Definitely in some protected place, but where?
just about ready to give up. Then I hear some crying. It's coming from under a down tree. It could be the den. Sister. My brother and sister. You are cute. You're so soft. Mm, you're so soft. Let's go home. Oh, you're cold. Let's go home. Sam said, who's that? Anybody home? Yeah, we're up here. Okay. Hi. You have to say hi, Dad. Okay. Work. How was your trip? Good. I don't know what you're going to think about this. What? Think I, about what? I have a surprise. A surprise? <laughs> Anna, have you ever seen a baby fisher before? Look at these. Oh, they're so cute. Look. Feel them. Feel this one, yeah. Eee. You know what? We get to keep them. <laughs> oh, yeah? <laughs> now look at this one. Uh, Which one do you like? Uh, do they look the same? One is a boy and one is a girl. Uh-huh. <laughs> <laughs> Which one do you like? Look at this one. They do kind of look the same, don't Which they? Which one do you like, the girl or the boy? This one's the girl, like that, and this one's the boy. Well, we can look and see. <laughs> the boy or the girl? Girl. You think we should feed them? Yeah. See if he'll okay. suck on your finger. You know how that sometimes little animals suck on your finger? Let me see show you this. Suck. See, you on your Let me show you how we're going to feed them here. You can feed one. Although they might scratch you. Why don't you help me hold this one? Help me hold this bottle. Help me hold this bottle. Right here. Hold it up. Hold, hold it up, up so the milk will lay down. Way up, way up. Hold it way up. Way up like this. Look at him, he's eating. You want to do it? Hold it up. Hold it up more. Now hold the bottle up like this. There. You think you've ever fed a baby fisher before? <laughs> it's not easy. I think it was easier feeding you, Hannah, when you were a baby. Luckily, they like the milk mixture. It's a powdered bitches milk substitute made for puppies. Seems to work fine for fishers also. <laughs> well, you sleep good after this. <laughs>
Hannah seems happy with the new members in the family, and Diane never could resist a furry little orphan. And Spud. Porky and Spud? Uh -huh. The uh, female is Porky because they kind of eat porcupines. Yeah. Supposed to, anyway. And the male is Spud because he looks like a fat little round potato. But not for long. They grow quickly on a bottle of milk every three hours. Two weeks later, both fishers are starting to look more like what they are, medium-sized members of the weasel family, somewhere between their better-known cousins, the mink and the wolverine. Now that they're getting more active, we move them into the basement. Certain predators, like fishers, hunt by continually exploring places where small animals might hide. Curiosity is their birthright. Also curious are their many names, Black Fox, Penance Cat, and of course, Fisher, the most popular one. Ironically, they don't catch fish. It's generally accepted that they earn their name by stealing fish bait from the trap lines of early fur traders. Come here, baby. Come here, baby. Come, baby. Although they'll grow up to be formidable hunters, right now what they need is milk. Do you think we should feed them? Uh. Can you feed it? Stand over here and help me. Help me feed this one. Here. Right here. You have to put it in his mouth. Because he can't hold it too good. With their mother, the kits would have nursed for about seven weeks. Then she'd start bringing meat to the den. Soon I'll begin mixing a little raw meat in with their formula. they're becoming members of the family now, I remind myself that the fishers are wild creatures and that someday they'll need to make it on their own. They're now three months old, just the age when their mother would start to take them out hunting. Just like children, baby fishers would rather play than go to school. Baby fisher. Hi, baby fisher. Oh, 
You're going crazy. Huh? Uh. You like to run around and play? Well, the fishers seem to like the wilderness, Hannah. You think? Well, the next thing we have to do is teach him to hunt. <laughs> Who's this? Who's in our pack? A baby fisher. What's he doing? <laughs> he's just looking. He's looking? You know what he's looking for? Mm -hmm. He's looking for mice to eat. <laughs> you know why? Fishers eat mice and squirrels and little things like that. And that's what we want to do. We want to teach him how to eat that stuff. Actually, I don't think we're going to have to teach him, really. I think we just have to find some mice, you know? Look at Hannah. There you go. Where'd those fishers go? Where'd they, are they up in the woods there? Yeah. Okay. Well, I'm going to take a walk with the fishers, okay? Okay. And I want you to stay here with Mom. Okay. You know why? Why? Because I want them to learn how to hunt. Okay. We're going to have to have them learn how to hunt mice and stuff. You watch Daddy, okay? okay. And then... They lived in the house for most of their short lives, but the instinct to hunt is strong in all predators. Other animals, like these lynx kittens, grow up watching their mother hunt. The fishers will have to learn on their own. They seem ready. Fishers are the most arboreal, or tree climbing, of the weasel family. They certainly don't need lessons in that from me. So while Spud enjoys life at the top, I steer Porky in the right direction. Come on. Come here. Now there's going to be some mice around here. Pay attention. Get ready. Get ready. Get ready. Anything else? Up, up. Come here, Porky. Come here, there's a mouse right here. <laughs> oh man, you can do better than that. Chase him. <laughs> Catch him. All the excitement catches Spud's attention and he decides to join us. have to pay closer attention. Now come over here. He's just, he's hiding here. You're right here. Here's one. See it? Get him.
<laughs> you see what Spud has? Look. Spud has a little squirrel. Come here, look. Look what Spud has. Spud has a ground squirrel. Now, you need to catch one of those. And both of you can eat, because I don't think he's going to share his. Come here, Spud. Oh, come here. Oh, you selfish. Spud joined the hunt late, but finishes first by making the catch of the day. Their first outing in the real wilderness is off to a good start, but they still have a lot to learn. And I have a lot more to learn about fishers and exactly how they live in the wild. As much as we like them, Porky and Spud can't stay with our family forever. Who's getting hungry? Of course, Hannah thinks they're the perfect playmates. She sees no reason for them to be locked up. curiosity is out of control. In the wild it has a purpose, but in a home it's a disaster. Come here. Ah, uh, you, 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 you're, you're making a mess. Uh. How about that? Oh my god. these guys downstairs and back in their cage that's it not cleaning up anymore <laughs> Oh, now they're in the toilet paper and the garbage what else what next that's it <laughs> oh sorry but you guys have to go downstairs in your cage This is it. I think we got to get rid of them today because they are just making too much of a mess. I can't. Look, look. 
Okay. Okay. Come on, you guys, back in your cage. That's it. Made enough of a mess until we get you a bigger cage. You just have to stay in there, okay? We'll play later. Next week, see what life in the wild will hold for Porky and Spud. Come on this way. Before I can release the fishers, I still have a lot to teach them. You guys calm down back there. And they still have a lot to learn. I take them on trips into the mountains that will one day be their home. Each time we go deeper into the wilderness. But are the fishers too friendly for their own good? What will their curiosity get them into next? Not the right idea. Okay. They're going to live in the woods now. As I release them, I wonder how and if they'll survive their first winter. I'm Marty Stauffer. Join me next week. Until then, enjoy our wild America.